What's going on guys, JFC here. Shapeshifters has been confirmed, which if you guys don't know, will be the next promo after Team of the Season. And funnily enough, usually Team of the Season, you're kind of disappointed that it's ending, right? This is the first year, I think, that I'm more excited for what's coming after Team of the Season than I am for Team of the Season. This goes to show you the level of content and the level of effort to the content it seems like EA have put into Team of the Season. Plus, we've got some other new leaks as well to go and look at. I've got an 8111 Serie A pack to open in this video. My Flood Champs rewards, I finished Weekend League last night, got 18 wins and I got legitimately the worst possible rewards you could think of like no kidding the worst possible rewards I got Red Bremer who is great like Bremer's fantastic in this game if you've not used him don't use him on two kill with an anchor though definitely don't do that I think I got Bremer Tenali and Chesney so Tenali is like okay but you know not something you want to see and my tradable pack I believe I also got Chesney yeah it was Chesney so I mean it was just bad I won't even show you the disappointment because uh, I was not pleased now for content today you might have missed the player SPC that came out Labotka came out he came out like a half an hour late. Content guy was late to work or something. I don't know. 5-7 medium high. He looks like the Serie A Conte, honestly. But just a little bit less pace. Interceptions are there. He just looks okay. There's not much to say about Lobotka. He's just okay, looks like. And then, who would have guessed? The Serie A 8-player pack and the player pick, which I'm glad that is coming out. But it's just the same content. Every single week, it just never changes. I am happy the draft token thing is here. I am happy. So you can say that's a little bit different of content. But man, it's just so copy-paste. It's really... really Really frustrating, honestly. It really is. No Eusebio yet, by the way. Where is he? I don't know. League of Portugal team of seasons out. We're waiting on Eusebio. I don't see why he'd come out in any other week other than this one. We did get a new objective. It's ECL played like a pro cup. You're gonna play matches or win matches here with uh, one Champions League player in your starting squad. It can be a lone too if you have a lone player. Some good rewards here. You know, it's 784 plus for winning eight. It's once again match limit though because FOMO they need you to have FOMO on this game and be thinking about this game all day. But there is an interesting part of this uh, ECL that, by the way, no one's going to watch. But there's an interesting part that uh, the winner is going to get something actually pretty unique coming to the game. We're going to look at that in just a little bit here. We'll talk about the leaks. But yeah, this, this content is just so copy paste every single day and every single week. Obviously, today is going to be the Super League Team of Season Guaranteed Pack. Sorry, not Super League. League of Portugal Team of Season Guaranteed Pack plus a refresh of the 11, 81 11 Serie A pack that comes out every single week season once again ends in two days six hours don't forget about that get your season or division rivals milestone rewards in right now before the week ends if you guys don't want to deal with trading at all you guys can go to the link in my description go to u7buy.com they're a fast and very very reliable coin service the five percent tax is also covered you can use my code jfc at checkout for a five percent discount thank you to u7buy for sponsoring the video now let's get back to it so first things first shapeshifters confirmed early leak here shapeshifters is the next promo to be released in FUT 23. The event is known for its special items featuring position changes and huge boosts. I believe there's other rumors that this is going to be like a three or four week promo. Shapeshifters though is actually pretty lively. At least it has been the past couple of years. So I'm actually more excited for Shapeshifters than I am team of the season. That sounds crazy, but that's just the truth of how it's been lately. Uh, Sergey Milinkovic Savage is probably coming out today is my guess. Uh, it's going to come out today or tomorrow is my guess. And then Eusebio, where is he? Don't know. So here's a really interesting thing uh, regarding the ECL or the the E-Champions League that um, is happening sometime soon. Winner of the ECL will get to pick a player to come as an SBC and fine-tune the stats. Now, my guess is there's going to be some sort of limitation to the stats. It won't be 99s everything. I'm sure there's going to be a limit that EA put on it, but I do like the fact that this is a thing. I saw here a Ryan Kent, you know, random card. You know, just whatever player, I guess, the winner chooses, which watch them choose like Alloway Ron or some shit, <laughs> you know, one of the most like basic players. I don't think this is real, by the way, so ignore this Bruto image, but it is pretty cool from EA. I do gotta say, hopefully it ends up being a player that we don't usually see get a high rated card. I'm hoping the person who wins would pick that or they just go a FIFA rat side and like pick Ben Yetter or something. <laughs> I don't know. Futz on here says heroes will be included as well. They're included every single time. So this isn't really much news. Minimum three teams coming. I think we've always had at least three teams. So I don't even know if this is a league. He might just be like saying this, but this is what we can expect. This was last year here. We had the hero plus the regular shapeshifter card. It was a very fun promo. Here was the team last year, by the way. We have Messi, Sun, Hazard, Davies. I mean, the, these stats are outrageous. I don't think they'll be quite this high. Maybe they'll be something close to this. Maybe not quite this high though. Um, But yeah, it's like every single time it's, there's great cards in the team you want to look at that more you can pause the video and also league on competition picks still haven't seen them they might not come for days weeks like honestly don't expect them anytime soon if they come be pleasantly surprised if they don't come, don't be surprised, is what I'm trying to say here. Also, end of an era, Ibrahimovic, I think is 
somewhat not likely. Does that make sense? I, I think he's actually probably more likely not to come out than to come out because of Ebra's disputes with EA in the past. Very unfortunate, but if we do get a Zlatan, be aware, it's probably the last card we'll see of Zlatan and FIFA because he hates EA. At least he did not too long ago. So yeah, disappointing, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. So yeah, fun account in here with that um, objective that came out today. Only EA would drop an objective requiring UCL cards, then not update their price ranges. These cards just went absolutely to the moon for Fauna. And I mean, look at all these cards almost went extinct today because you literally needed one. And I think most people just didn't have one. So let me look at it. Just zeros all across the board here, except for the really expensive ones, right? And I think you actually can use these cards here. So you don't really have to worry too much, but it's just funny that EA dropped that objective and just have no foresight to see that they're probably going to go extinct. So hopefully you guys have one. If not, then use the men of the matches here uh, instead. Well, if you guys happen to do any of the MLS showdown SBCs that came out like was it like a week ago or so the Chara and the rolled on they drew so they're all gonna have plus one and these cards don't look great so why they didn't give these cards bigger boosts you have to ask EA but in the case of a draw you end up with four mid cards yeah this Chara looks all right but um good luck linking Colombian and MLS you're not doing it I saw this tweet here and it's like I still don't understand why EA don't release a special card for every year for the Ballon d'Or winner that is separate to their inclusion in the team of the year squad this is something that has always confused me too there's like player of the season Ballon d'Or winners Puskas award winners who give him a 99 shot right I, I don't know there's just so many things that they could do that if I want to look positively for a sec maybe not being tied to FIFA will help them do more things like this now I, if I had to put my money on it FIFA had nothing to do with them not releasing this kind of stuff but my hope is that there's a reason they wanted to get rid of FIFA one of course money two though there's probably some people there at EA that do want to venture beyond and get a little more creative. And that's what I'm hoping for EAFC. But of course, you want to keep up with the news all summer, uh, subscribe to my dumbass. So once again, don't forget Ultimate Team of the Season is right around the corner. We got a week of Ultimate and we don't know what cards are going to be in there. Any card above 5, 6, 700k, I would be just wary of. That's going to be in it. And also, if you have a guy like Tamori, right? Tamori is 220. He's very, very good. Very, very meta. If you have a card like that or Barella's in it, these are the types of cards that could really just like half in price like they're just gone like if they're four or five hundred k cards they're gonna be like 200k but then you also on the flip side have a card like awesome is 2.7 who probably is gonna see more supply and drop too there's like no good outcome uh if your card is in ultimate team of the season so if you have any expensive cards i'd be out before then we're gonna get leaks just it's just a matter of time until we get them so honestly i would want to be out as soon as you probably could i'm gonna be honest guys team of the season just kind of came and went like it felt like it was just yesterday team of the season was here for the first time and um it's over now we have the ultimate team of the season which you're probably not gonna pack jack shit in the ultimate team of the season so what did you guys think i mean to me this is probably the worst team of the season year I can remember. I mean, I'm talking all the way back to, yeah, I've been playing since FIFA 15. I think this is the worst year, I want to say. You know, you could say FIFA 20 because of the team of season so far stuff, but even then it was still a little bit better. I don't know. It, it was not good in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think. Here's a Serie A 8111. I saw it was like 50-50 to get a blue in these, so I'm going to hope I can get one. I've gotten nothing out of the Serie A Weekend League rewards, so it'd be nice to get one here. We do. It's a blue. Let's go. Brazil. And it's Bremer again. Oh my god. He's so good, but I don't want to pack him, dude. I have his red already. Okay. Well, there's that. But all right, subscribe if you're new. Love you all. See you next video. Very, very soon. Peace.